Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, we are back with Sunday Morning Coffee. Sorry about last week. Uh, we got back uh, a day later than anticipated from our uh, holiday vacations. If you hear the heavy breathing, that is uh, my son's dog who wandered up to say hi to me this morning because I'm the only one awake right now. And so... Last week, I had a huge audio issue, and everything went kind of wonky, so that didn't get through. Um, but I uh, was playing uh, a game that is very frustrating, and I played another game of it throughout the week, and I got murdered on the second-to-last uh, level, and it was horrible. So I thought to myself, well, what can we, what can we do? What game could I possibly share with everybody? Because I haven't had much time. Because I've been uh, working on a project for a nonprofit up here. And it then came to me as I was uh, watching YouTube. Uh, and if everybody's going to show ads for uh, uh, Raid Shadow Legends, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it's all about. So uh, here's some music. That's pretty much your standard music. Now there is a whole lot going on here, so let's let's kind of start with this. So there are so this is my mine, and this makes the red gems. The red gems are things that you can buy and you can stock up on. There is money. Uh, these are uh, PVP tokens. I'll cover those in a minute. And this is my energy. Now you may see that my energy is 3,958 out of 101 and I am level 33. So basically this turns into my uh, when I was not driving game. And every time there is a red dot, that means that there is something going on there. So for instance, this is kind of your daily, here you are. And then as long as you stay logged in, the more rewards you get. Standard stuff. This is my mail or overflow. So these are overflow from a full champion. And we'll get... We'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> but let's get rid of some of the rest of these red dots. So this is the sparring pit. Now you unlock this as you level. And basically this is you can... Put your characters in here and train them up. And I've got two little dingbats in there that are just cruising along. We'll open this. We've got news. The void rush is coming. Yeah. Huge feature update. I'll read that out later. So it all starts with uh, your champions. And the way you get them is you get them through this little portal. Right now, void shards, which are these, I don't have any, so we're not going to be able to do anything. But these are the mystery shards. You click on them, and then a random person shows up. It's actually pretty cool. Um, this is the Great Hall. So this is what you do with, uh, once you earn the, the PvP tokens, these are the rewards for the PvP tokens. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. But then you can come in here and go, okay, well, I want my, and there are, it's a triangle, uh, blue, green, red. And then there are the purple guys in the middle. And you can say, okay, well, I want to upgrade these guys. I want all of my, all of my dudes to have more attack, more defense, more crit damage, more resist, more accuracy. And then you just kind of plug away in here. Okay, so that's the Great Hall. Let's go on to the Tavern, because there's a whole lot of stuff that happens here. So the Tavern. Okay, so here are all my champions. They are sorted by rank right now. And you start out with a, a fairly cool one, and then you can keep going. And please ignore, I have not looked up anything about this. Uh, this is a pretty game that I like to watch do things. Um, but there are four different things that you can do. You can upgrade the level. So let's let's come down here. 
and find somebody who could use a level. <laughs> so let's go to our two stars. Okay. So let's let's pick you at random. Okay. So this is the heart piercer. And what we're gonna do let me cover this first. So there's upgrade level which means makes their level go up. They can have 10 as many levels as they have stars. So two stars can go up to 20, three stars can go up to 30, so on and so forth. You can upgrade their rank. And I don't know that I have an example of we'll do this, but basically what you do is if you're, if she was at level 20, we could then sacrifice two, two stars and it would put her up to a three star at level one. Upgrade skills. Okay, so here's where we are. We're gonna, so we're gonna actually rotate this around. We gotta find the other heart piercer. Okay, so upgrading skills. So we've got a heart piercer here. And she's got level one and level two. And if we take another one of the heart piercer and we pay some coin, So her perforate is now up to level two. So her skill upgraded. Now, if we want to ascend, we need to get these, which these are done through uh, dungeons. I'll show you that later. Um, and they're pretty, fairly easy to get. Basically what it does is that you turn one of the gold stars purple. So for instance, I've got, whoops, yeah, there we go, the sniper. And she's kind of awesome. And I have ascended her all the way. I have not ascended uh, Aethel, I think is her name, all the way because I don't have enough things yet. But let's go, let's go back to upgrading level. So these are sorted by. Oh, and so if they're gray, they're gray, green, blue. Gray, green, blue, purple, and there's legendary, but I don't have a legendary yet, so I'm kind of messed up there. All right, so we take the... So normally what you're trying to do is you're trying to, to level up these, the gray ones, so that you can sacrifice them to the higher level ones because the gray ones cannot ascend. So you can't ever ascend the gray ones. Which is sad because some of the gray ones look really cool. Like her. The ranger looks really cool. All right. So back to what I was talking about. So let's, uh, let's see who we can level. Aristocrat, nah. Okay, so we've got Warboy here. Warboy's level 11. He's a two-star. He's a gray, which means I've already upgraded his rank once. So then we come down here, and we're basically just uh, any of these guys that I don't like, I can just add here. And I can put in up to six of them, and you'll see that they each get 1,600. And that changes depending on what you put in there. So now he's level 13. Okay, well that's cool. Let's uh let's stuff some more in here. Okay, and I got my daily quest complete. We'll cover that in a minute too. So that's the tavern. And you can also get these little uh beer mugs are basically experience things. There's also uh books to upgrade the skills. There are a lot of those where they're just like, hey, do you want to buy some stuff? Nah, not really. Okay, so we covered the sparring pit, we covered the tavern, we covered the great hall. I don't know what the Yule Tree is for. I've never figured it out. The market. 
So the market is pretty much a standard place of come here, look around. Uh, if you want a common chest plate that will help put people to sleep, it refreshes in an hour. So normally I come in here and because there is a daily quest to buy something, if I don't see anything that I really want, I'll buy one of these little dingbats because like you just saw, I can sacrifice them for experience. And there's also, you can also unlock further and further things here. Okay, so we've covered the mine. Uh, let's cover the, oh, let's cover the portal just to get this all out of the way. So, this is, this is, are the shards that I have mostly. Uh, common, uncommon, and rare are what I can get out of here. So we'll go ahead and summon. And we're going to get a gray. And we get the little dude with the hat, the pikeman. And he's got one skill. Attacks one enemy, has a 15% chance of a freezing debuff for one turn. Okay, so he's kind of cool. Let's summon somebody else, see if we can get something neat. Oh, got a green. A cultist. Oof, that's creepy. Okay. But there's there's the idea. You can also um, get these through rewards. There's also uh, a fusion path where you can actually like get all of these characters and then fuse them together to make these characters. And if you click on them, it'll say, okay, here's where you get these sewers of Arnorok normal. <laughs> And you can get these through the catacombs. And then you can combine them. You have to get them to the three star, and then you combine them, and then it turns into the Aura Blaster. And then eventually it turns into this thing, which I don't want, so. I don't like any of the fuses. They're all. I don't know, weird. Alright, so let's get rid of the, some of the rest of this nonsense. Oh, so see, I've got free. This uh, recharges every day. This recharges every seven days. And I normally forget about that just because I've got 148 of these. So let's see if we can get anything good. Ooh. Oh. I mean, tax one enemy three times has a 20% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Alright, but you look goofy. So, daily quests. So basically, you complete all the daily quests, and then you collect your thing, and then there are weekly quests, and then there are monthly quests. You get the idea. Um, clan. So this is the clan I joined, and you basically check in, and then you do stuff, and then you end up with uh, stars, and then the stars go towards unlocking chests, and then you get rewards there. All right, the index. So this is the list of, of all of the things, and basically what it is is that it's letting you know that you found somebody new. So come in here and you go, oh. I have not looked at the sergeant. Who actually looks kind of cool. I don't think he does anything spectacular. There's one guy I have that doesn't. He does an execute move where he has any any of his hits have a chance of just like, nope, it's dead. Maybe it's just one of his attacks. Old beard. But you have to go through. All of these, if you want those little dots to go away. I don't even remember that guy. Sorry, Paragon, but you were unremarkable at best. 
but there. So we got rid of all the dots, so now that dot goes away. Champions, uh, these dots are just super annoying. But this is where you can actually see a lot of the characters. And some of them are really cool. And some of them, I swear this guy has... He, if you don't look real close, he looks like a clown with lollipops. I like her though. She's cool. <sighs> okay, while we're here, we'll cover this. So, where where did she go? So, this is these are the equipment. They come in stars and thing as well. And what you can do is you can choose these. These are artifacts I have in storage. And like this set is a resistance too. So if you wear if you your champion is wearing two of them, their resistance goes up. You can upgrade the items. So let's say you go to here, and then you upgrade, and then you can say, okay, well I want to upgrade to level four. And you can go all the way up to level sixteen, but I want to upgrade to level four, and it'll just go for you. you or you can click the button on your own, whichever. That's my daily quest done. So you can enchant things. And see, that would make hit point go up by one. I don't want to do that, because I am unsure... I'm unsure how that all works. Okay. So I got some more dudes. I got a quest reward. This is my five tokens. I've already got all the combat. I'm going to get all these guys out of here. Tournament. Let's see how we did. So there are a bunch of different tournaments that are going on. Uh, this is the Dragon Tournament. What artifacts from the... Oh, Tournament Not, not Live. Starts in. Okay. They were just letting me know. These are the events that... Summon Rush. Okay. I haven't played in a few days, so I'm way behind. So if I summon... 60 more people? And this is how you earn the points. 1 point, 20 points, 120 points, 500. So they're they're trying to get you to buy things, but you don't have to. But see, here's here's how it bogs down, because you're like, okay, what, what... I never know what the hell it wants me to click with my champions, and I don't know what that means. So I click on new, rings... Maybe that turns it off. There we go. Okay. So now let's actually get to the... Well, let's do this. Okay, so here's your login bonuses. And you log in every day. You get a thing. Pretty standard. You progression rewards. So the more you level, the more you get. The referral program. This is actually kind of cool. So you can... If you refer somebody, and as they level you get stuff for them leveling. So. All right, so let's go to the battles. So there are four, why aren't you? There. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five different things here. We're actually gonna start with the clan boss because that's the easiest to describe. So, I got the novice chest, so I got uh, immortal helmet, neat, and three lesser magic potions. Okay. So, what you do is, as a clan, you can take down these different monsters. You the keys re respawn, regrow, re you regenerate them. So it starts out. Uh, where you, right now nobody's battled anybody. And generally, so I haven't broken the 30,000 mark, but you kind of just uh, put your team together. 
Now, here's so here's the main here's battle in a nutshell. So here's how this goes. You've got each of your dudes, they have a speed, and the speed is refilled in this little yellow gauge. And the yellow gauge it works for the bad guy as well. He's got powers as well. And then you've got info, which will let you know what's going on with the characters. You can do it everything at one speed or two speed. And you can either click these buttons on your own or you can push this little auto button. I always push the little auto button because I am terrible at this game. So I put it at two speed and then I push auto. And then this just kind of goes, which is nice. Where's my... Yeah, okay. mm, I'm going to turn the audio down. Hang on. We'll just inch that down a little bit while we're here. Okay, so... Um, we had a huge ice storm this weekend up here in Michigan, and not a huge, uh, we had weird weather affected it, but basically it's been raining for the past day, and now that it rained, it got, we got all kinds of, uh, flooding, and then, so all of our yards flooded. And then it all froze over. And then there's a layer of snow on top of that. So everything looks super weird. Like all of the all of the yards, instead of like having these rolling like little everything looks flat. So it really looks like a video game, kinda. Like if the Sims were just to be like snow. Kinda looks like that. So we planned ahead and we uh, we painted our stairwell. Because uh, we have a, I'm in a two-story house, and we painted the stairway uh, black, uh, all because uh, I bought something, and we decided, well, let's make our let's make our our stairway look like outer space. So we painted it black, and we're getting everything set, and then we're gonna go back in and make it look like outer space as best we can. We're not. We're not astrophysicists here, uh, so we're just we're going for aesthetics, not realism. But see, and this goes on, and this is at two times speed. Remember that. And as you'll see up here, like this guy's health bar is barely moving because he's a huge raid boss, so everybody's supposed to take him down. And I believe, which one is it? Is it this one? One of these, I think, just has him constantly increasing. Yeah. So see, I did 310,000 damage. And they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But now I skip. And it's like, oh, upgrade artifacts. Come here, Tom, combat tips. We don't care. Okay, so now we'll go to the arena. So I'm back at 900 points, which means that I've gotten my butt kicked while we've been gone. So basically what it is is you come in here and these are other people's. And you look at them and you go, hmm, I think I can beat that guy up. And you spend a coin to battle. You choose your team. You click start. If you're like me, you click auto. And that's it for me. And I've got to do this uh, like for, for that daily quest. I've got to do this five times. And there are, from what I, if I remember right, there are three different levels of uh, each level. Bronze, silver, and gold. Maybe there's a platinum. I don't know. But I have not. I have made it into bronze two. I have not made it through bronze two because I get annihilated and brought back down. Um, uh, 
but the she's just awesome. Um, there's a way to get the dark version of her, and I think that's the 90 day thing. Uh, but it, this game also has a bah, 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 uh, Amazon Prime integration. So you can actually go through and do that there. And you get rewards and different gold amounts and stuff. And I don't know if that's a continuous thing or... Let's do this, because I want to see what that guy actually does. See if he gets to do anything. Oh, and these... I can't remember which one it is, but yellow is neutral, which means you'll just do normal damage. And then either red, see, I can't, I can't remember which way it goes. Okay, green means they do more damage. <laughs> and the red means you'll do less. But see, this is what I mean about this is just my, like, It's like watching a, almost a D&D &D encounter in reverse. Not in reverse, but... So when I was in the military, uh, we did... We went and played paintball one year. And... The... We ended up, uh, had some paintballs at the end of it, and basically what we did is we did a standoff. Is that, and there were, I think the teams were five on five. So there were five of us on one side and five of us on the other. And it was basically just, we stood, I think, 20 feet apart, maybe 20 yards, I don't remember, and just, uh, shot at each other until we emptied our clip, which was a terrible idea. Terrible. Okay, Faction Wars, I have never touched, so I'm not going to speak to that. <coughs> The campaign. So the campaign is what you expect, and I really like the presentation. Um, and basically what it is, is you keep going through here until you get to the end. And then when you get to the end, uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'm guessing you, you do... Uh, you There are, I am on normal, and then you can go to hard, and then brutal... And then Nightmare, where everybody's level 100, which seems very unfair, but... But so, let's go to... What's a fun one? I still like this one. So there are, so there are three stars here, and they each mean something different. <clears throat> So we're gonna come over to Is this one still set up? Yeah, okay. So basically what I've got here is I've got my main damage dealer, my main healer, and then I've got two little dingbats that are just kind of hanging out. And they're basically there just to soak up levels. And the what I'm trying to do is I've got let's go back to the bastion. So if we look in here, and we go to upgrade rank, I've got enough to upgrade her to level 5. But if I want to upgrade her rank to level 5, I have to sacrifice 4 level 4 characters. I don't want to, like, she is one that is a sacrificial. All of the rest of them are actually characters that I may need someday, and they're not going away. So I've got to get, I've got to get more level 4 characters. So I was working on upgrading those. And then over here. So let's go here. So each star, uh, oh, and there it is. It's red, 
Red does more damage to blue, blue does more damage to green, green does more damage to red, and then purple's just sitting in the middle being cool. So uh, beat stage, beat stage with no losses, uh, two or fewer champions, no losses. So I could uh, probably get that third star if I just took these two little dingbats out. Um, but that's not what I want to do. So here is multi-battle, which is... Um, So let's, let me show you this. Because <clears throat> this is actually one of the cooler battles. And once again, it's at two times speed. Let me turn it down to... So this is what the game's supposed to go at. This looks kind of cool. But see, I don't like. And here we are at the boss. Hang on. <sighs> yes, knees. All right, there we go. All right, got out of my system. So you just saw that uh, that she can resurrect people, which I think is always kind of fun because like these two guys die all the time, and she wastes time bringing them back a lot, and then they die right the next hit. But the good thing is that if even if you're dead, you get uh, you still get experience. So like these two are dead. They still get the experience. Which these two are max level, but these two keep plugging away. And then. Okay. So, battle. So that's the campaign. Let's go to the dungeons. So the dungeons are super neat. And this is where I've had the most fun. So, let's start out with the arcane key. Okay, so there are no stars, you'll notice. And basically what it is, is it is a straight-up battle between your characters and whoever. So you can put whoever you want in here. I don't know why I have those people chosen. Maybe I was leveling over here. Um, but so the multi-battle. The multi-battle only happens in campaign. And you get 15 a day. They do not stack. So they refresh up to 15. And basically what it is, is you click, um, and it'll, it'll just cycle through that. If you set it for five, it'll use five of those in that level. So if you're, it's good if you're hunting for something very specific. And like, for instance, if it says like, you need to get, a on this level, you need to get a two star or higher with attack rating, something, something, something. You can go, okay, great, and then click it, and then just have that go. Or if you're trying to level people, you can just say, okay, great, put these idiots in here. Okay, will they survive 15? Yeah, they'll get to 15, and they won't max level. Go, and it'll just go. Yeah, so now we got some lesser arcane potions. So the arcane potions are these you need for everything. So, like to upgrade, to not upgrade, because those are all different words, ascend, to ascend people. Um, we're going to go back to the map. And then these are for each of the, so this you need, and then you normally need an equal amount. So the purple guys need the purple thing, the red guys need the red thing, blue, green. I don't know what's in there, so. So... Okay, let's start with a spider den, just because you guys got to see this. So there are currently five boss 
boss encounters, for lack of a better word. So this is as far as I've gotten. I have beaten level one. Because this guy is a jerk. And you'll see why. So these are these are some of my higher level characters. And uh, yeah. So yeah, summons a bunch of these minions. Poisons, poison, 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 more poison. So basically, you just have to have AOE. Everybody has to have AOE. Lots and lots of AOE. Because otherwise, those the little spiderlings start tearing you up. Oh, yeah, and if the spiders are alive and she does that, she refills her health. So, you know, like you do. And keep in mind, this is two times speed, so... It's, it's, it's super annoying. This boss drives me nuts, and it's one of those where this is the first... This is the first one where I got to, and I was like, alright, alright, what am I doing wrong here? And I feel that I have, I will need to look up a strategy to progress here, because this is... Somebody bigger an AoE out. Come on. There we go. But you see how that goes from like, oh, kind of okay to perfectly fine. And we got a sacred order ring. Attack, attack, attack percentage, and defense percentage. Okay, pretty cool. And a level up on Skullsmore. But so that's the spider boss. Um... Go to the Minotaur's Labyrinth because this is kind of weird. Okay, I don't need you in there. I do want. You in there though. <clears throat> I don't remember if this will work or not. Sometimes I get obliterated in here, sometimes I don't. But I want to show you. I want to show you the Minotaur because this this has bearing on the rest of it. What is that on her? Hex? What is that doing? Oh well. Okay. So, six of six. There we go. Okay. So I think that is that enough? It might not be. Masteries, okay. Good, good, good. 
So masteries, these are basically your skill trees, if you're familiar with WoW or anything like that. Um, and see, she is a support. So you would normally come in here and look and be like, okay, fill the speed meter of allies. All right. uh, decrease speed buff, shamanistic lightning. Let me come in here and go, okay, accuracy. I actually want to give her more accuracy because I want her to hit more often because she does a whole bunch of debuffs that are really nice. And then you keep going on the tree. I think she's probably the furthest along. Yeah, and just it gives... That is a place where it gives out a random... It just gives out a random one. So now that's uh, the Ice Golem. So Ice Golem, Dragon, and Fire Knight are all kind of the same-ish. Uh, but they hand out different groupings of weapons. So, for instance, uh, Accuracy, Speed, and those are the, the armor sets that I was showing before. So let's... I have not beat this one yet. Okay. Let's get my crew. Normally, all he does is die. I don't. I don't mean to sound mean, but some of these characters are absolutely useless. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So these are some of my strongest characters. Normally, this means that they will chew through the beginning, but I don't remember why I stopped fighting the dragon. I think I was farming something. Yeah. This dragon's going down. Yep. I don't know why I was worried. Oh, if you leave him up like that, he breathes flame and nearly kills everybody. So we've got a frost set. Not bad. And, and you can just, you can either edit the team, replay, or you can just click next, and it takes you to the next level. So now he's... blue so I don't want my green people in there I want more red people if I have them you're really low level though nope not what I wanted to do and I guess you're going Welcome to the team. I don't even know if you have equipment. <laughs> equipment becomes really important because it'll it'll up everybody's defense and everything. So I mean I shouldn't be terribly worried because these characters are probably gonna rip through just about everything. Like I said, this isn't really a a game that I play. I just kind of watch it. 
So you brought him down out of that animation. But if you see that resisted, it's probably because I have some resist gear on them, or in their masteries, I decided to give them some upgrade paths towards resist. So now we got a three star purple sleepy hammer. 25% chance. And if you wear four. So, and basically, the just the star level keeps going up. So you can get better and better gear through doing these dungeons. And I haven't explored a lot in here because I'm basically trying to level my people first. I could probably come over here and get some good gear and then level them quicker, but... And then the Ice Golem and the Fire Knight are kind of the same. I mean, they're not the same kind of fight, but they're the same. You fight higher levels, and then you get that. So I think that's it. Um, have we fought in the arena. Collect that. Get me back up to ten. Completed another quest. But yeah, that's it. Um, so if you're ever uh, really, really bored and you've wondered what this game was all about. <clears throat> here you go um, but that's going to do it for me uh, thank you very much for watching and as always play on <laughs>